All right, this is Jack coming to you live from my sick bed, or actually partially alive, in order to show you how to use the lesson planner. Um, I have used it mostly with uh, substitutes, um, and I think it can be very helpful, although it can be time consuming to use. So from your reach um, screen or um, whatever uh, curriculum you're using, um, if you go to the lesson planner at the top, you'll want to choose create new lesson plan. We're going to name that whatever you want to name the lesson plan. We need to choose a start date. I'm going to, um, and then you choose what um, the level that you want to include in the plan. I have all of these levels A through F available because my class is set up with all those levels. You can also set up individual classes, one for each level, if you want to um, do that. I can show that to you at another time. So anyway, I choose the book that I want and the unit that I'm teaching. Um, let's say I'm going to do uh, fourth grade and I'm doing unit two. Continue. And then I want to select choose a pre-made plan because this will put uh, items in the plan that will fit within a certain time period. And you can also change or modify those as you need. Um, I'm going to start with a 20 minute ready to go plan. And my lesson plan has been created. Now I don't see it here because the dates are not the dates that I put for that lesson plan. So to find that lesson plan, I need to select the date, which was November 7th. And now I can see the lesson plan. And it gives me a two week plan. So there's the first week, there's the second week. <clears throat> now within this planning, Tool, there's several things I can do. Um, it's helpful to have the teacher's guide with you um, because it gives you the teacher pages so you can look and see what exactly is going on there because it doesn't show it here. It just kind of gives you an outline here. So it gives you the teacher pages that you look at for this part of the lesson. Um, then it also, if you click on the link, it'll open up and give you any, give you, if, you know, it's using a background video. So it's a direct link to that background video that you can play. Um, as the students are in the classroom. Some can play clever tricks, like these dolphins. Others can use tools. It gives you links to PDF files right there that you can print right from your screen. Um, you can change the date. You can remove this and print. So now if you don't like how this is set up, you can reorder things You say like, you know what? I don't want to do this first. I want to do this last, or maybe I found something over here on Wednesday. I said, I don't want to do that on Wednesday. I'm going to do that on Monday. So you can just drag these around to wherever you want to put them. If there's something you don't like, you can delete it. Here's the vocabulary. I'm not using that one. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Okay. So you can drag them around, delete them anything you want to do. Um, again, if you have the teacher book in front of you, you can kind of look and see what kind of things you want to do. And if there's something on here, um, or if there's something in the teacher book that you want to do that's not on here, you can simply add it. So if I want to add something, I can go up to select, up to this actions, and I'm going to select manage activities. And um, these are all the part one pieces. And I was like, you know, what? I want to. I found something in the teacher guide for reading that I want to do. Um, actually, we're doing part two, right? Yeah. So I found something reading I want to do. And well, let me see. Let me find. So I'm going to show you. Um, you know, we're doing part one. Oh, there we go. There's part one. So if I click on writing, for example, part one, it shows that I already have this piece, daily writing journal entry. This is already my lesson plan on uh, November 17th. Okay. 
this shows me what's already if I look over here this is what is already placed in my plan okay so but let's say I want to add um, I got this level books read nonfiction. So you know what? I want to read some fiction too. So I'm going to add that to my plan. So I want to add that into my plan. I can click on the date I want to add to it. Let's say I want that to go. I want that actually to be on the Monday. So I'm going to click the seventh for that. Save it. Okay. And I look on Monday. It has added that to my plan right down here. Here it's added it to. And I click on it. Right. It just gives me some details, Common Core standards, and so forth. <clears throat> what I think is helpful with this is it gives you a quick, easy access to the printable PDFs. So let's see if I go here on Friday, I'm doing language part one, grammar questions, I click on that. And there's a practice master 2.5. I can click on the practice master and print that off for my students. There's an e-visual that I would be using. I click on that, and it brings up the visual that I can use while I'm teaching. All right, well, that's, I mean, that's about it. I mean, there's more that you can do. Um, you can add notes. And add, or add assignments and so forth, but that's about, that's about it for the lesson planning tool. Um, some other actions you can choose, you can manage, uh, you can print and save. So let's say I get this all set up exactly the way I want it. All these pieces in here that I want to have, they're ready to go. Um, I can click on it. I can choose to, I want to do the week at a glance. And I want to take the plan from there. And I'm going to plant these two weeks worth of plans. <clears throat> there they are. Those, there's the plans that I want to print. And I can either save that or print it. I found that if I go print here, um, it doesn't, the, the setup isn't quite right. So if you save it first, it opens as a PDF in a new window and then I can print from here. It actually turns out it looks uh, a lot better if I do it this way. So this is something I can give to my sub with the uh, teacher guide so they can see what to teach. Um, if I'm planning this for a sub, I would probably um, go back here in the lesson plan and find all of the printables that I want to use. So let's see if there's no, there's no printable there. Um, okay, here's one. So I might go through and just hit practice masters, print, and print up enough copies for the students and give that to my sub as well. So it's kind of quite easy. It's an easier way of finding those printables than maybe going through the home page here, trying to find the printables because I honestly can't find them that way. Um, it's not very user friendly at all. So hopefully that helps you a little bit and thank you for listening.